we isolated and purified the plasmid DNA using the alkaline lysis method that involves three buffers, resuspension, denaturation and neutralizing to extract the plasmid DNA from the E. coli cell membranes, taking 1.5 ml of culture in two different vials. We centrifuged the tubes at 10,000 rpm at 15 degrees Celsius. Then we carefully removed the supernatant. We added 150 ml of resuspension buffer to the vials and then we vortexed the vials and centrifuged it. Next, we added 200 ml of denaturing buffer and vortexed them and centrifuged them. After centrifugation, we added 150 ml of neutralizing buffer and then we inverted it immediately for 5 to 6 times. Then we thawed for 5 minutes and centrifuged the tube. After centrifugation, we transferred the supernatant in new vials. Next, we added phenol chloroform equal to the amount of supernatant and mixed it thoroughly to get three distinct layers. The vials were then centrifuged and the supernatant obtained was removed carefully. We added double amount of isopropanol and then it was centrifuged again and the supernatant was discarded. Then 70% ethanol was added and the supernatant was discarded. We air dried the vials for 4-5 to five minutes and added nucleus free water to the pellet. We measured 1 gram of agarose and dissolved it in 100 ml of TAE solution. After heating the mixture, we added 20 ml of ETBR and the mixture was poured to create a gel. The gel was then extracted and kept it in the electrophoresis casting plate. 20 ml of solution and 4 ml of loading dye was then loaded in the wells carefully. We then observed the gel under UV trans illuminator.